Hey everybody, Lance here. Today I want to talk about hip flexor tightness. Maybe you've uh, you've gone to the physical therapist and they said you have tight quads or a tight psoas muscle or tight hip flexors just somewhere in this region here. How um, how is this manifesting itself in your deadlift? Oftentimes, if someone has these tight hip flexors, when they deadlift, they feel a lot of it in their back. And, you know, to me, it's not necessarily fair to blame the hip flexors, maybe just because I over-personify them, but <laughs> what I'd instead say is, in instead of trying to say, I have crappy hip flexors, let's say, I need to find a better position. And so I am going to find that. And generally, there are two places that you're going to miss it. One, you're going to arch too much at the bottom. That uh, really kicks on psoas and it shortens these hip flexors in the front of your hip. Um, or at the top of the lift, I'm leaning back and I'm never really sitting my hips back, rounding my low back and finding my glutes to finish this movement. Um, these hip flexors are strongly intertwined with the low back and the, the pelvic complex. So we need to consider the positions that you're getting into if you're having these tight hip flexor issues. I've had some people, you know, tight hip flexors are related a lot to flat necks. And, and you know, I had one lady who had a flat neck, a tight neck, and she just deadlifted really well and said, oh my God, my neck feels great now, right? So all these things can play together, but you gotta make sure that at the top of that deadlift, you're getting a slight round of your low back and you're feeling your glutes finish the movement.